Hi, got another product review for you today and it's the Pormido PR996 mirror dash cam. And what's interesting about this one is it has a 12 inch screen so and a dual dash cam. So quite looking forward to seeing how that uh, mounts into the car. Anyway, not only have we got this version, the 996, we've also got to test the 997, uh, eight, sorry, <laughs> which is um, a small upgrade in the screen and camera department. And we don't stop there. We've got a third version, which we'll be able to give away as a giveaway um, at the end of the video. So stay tuned to find out how you can win this one. But let's get right back to the first one, the 996. Let's quickly pop this box open. So what we have here, is a huge 12 inch uh, monitor um, which clips over the center mirror, something like that. We'll get to the installation soon. And on the back of it, you've got the front camera, front dash cam integrated. Um, we'll get to the specifications in a minute, but that is just the neatest way to have it. So you just strap that onto there and you've got your front dash cam already running. Now, if I quickly flip the box open. They also give us a waterproof rear camera and this unit is solid metal. It really feels uh, nice. It comes with two mounting brackets um, so you can put it inside or outside of the car. Um, we're probably going to go inside it's just easier to keep clean but so, yeah that is proper solid. Um, so um, that's included. You've obviously got a huge amount of cabling, power cables, uh, straps um, but also very unusually Memory card is included, 32 gigabytes, SanDisk. Uh, it's a high-speed card, so that should do. I'll have to look up how much um, recording time that will give us, um, but you can upgrade it up to 128 gigabytes if you need to hold more. So, um, yeah, that is the 996 uh, version. It comes in both right-hand drive and left-hand drive versions, which means you can get the camera mounted to either side. We've got the right-hand drive here. That should give a slightly better view of the road, but if you live abroad, um, you can have the left-hand drive version and it should cover that side of the car. We're gonna test them both out anyway, so let's see how that works. Just in case you're wondering what the difference is to the upgraded 998, let's make a real mess here. <laughs> and uh, the screen unit has no camera. Okay, you might be thinking, why would you do that, Matt? That sounds pretty silly. So what you've got now is both cameras are external. The front camera is separate. Let's get that out. And that can be mounted any way you like. So the advantage of this is that you might have um, actually one of these plastic bits in the center of the car, and that does get in the view very slightly. But if it's worse in your car, this version gets around it because you can mount this anywhere you want and get the perfect view forward. So that's quite nice. It comes with the same rear camera as before uh, and all the cables. It's just a question of whether you want to have um, the uh, external front camera or have it built into the mirror. So that's the um, difference there. In terms of recording quality, um, you can have it set at 1080p uh, full HD, uh, 30 frames per second, or if you want to economize on the memory card usage, you can knock it back to 720p, 25 frames per second. We'll test both those out so you can see the difference. Um, they do have a parking mode um, if you want to have it monitor the car whilst you're away. Um, and there's optional reversing guidelines. So when you select reverse, it will pop some lines up on the screen and um, help you reverse. This car already has a reversing camera, so I probably won't bother with that, but it might be good for an older car. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll test all of this out, both versions. Um, so I'll get this all set up and uh, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. We are going to install the right-hand drive version of the PR996 first. As you can see, the only difference to the left-hand drive version is which end the camera is fitted to. Just choose whichever side you need, as it will cover that side of the road a little better. It was really easy to install the system. The screen is held in place by two rubber bands that stretch around the car's original mirror. The integrated camera can be adjusted a little if needed. The rear camera has a choice of two brackets and we simply stuck it just behind the car's rear window. There is one cable to run to the front screen 
and it is plenty long enough for any car. After plugging the power lead into the 12 volt socket, the unit turns on, shows the view from the rear camera and starts recording both cameras onto the memory card. There is a very simple menu system where all the settings can be adjusted easily. The cameras can record in 1080p for the best quality or 720p to save room on the memory card. We'll have a look at some recorded footage in a moment. Let's go for a drive. The 12 inch widescreen gives a great view behind the car and covers a far wider area than a normal mirror would, reducing any blind spot areas. Since we're watching a direct feed from the rear camera, it doesn't matter if there are people sitting in the car's rear seats, as our view will not be blocked. The screen is actually very bright, but our camera just doesn't show it very well for some reason. After a few minutes of driving, it's easy to forget that we're not using a normal mirror. The view is so clear. Here is the front camera, recording at full quality, 1080p with 30 frames per second. The video quality is great, with good sharpness and exposure. The dark area on the top left is a plastic cover at the top of the car's windscreen, but we still get a clear view of the road ahead. Switching to the rear camera, the quality is just as good. Mounting the camera inside the car like this helps the unit stay clean and also the rear wiper will ensure there is always a clear view through the rear window to record. Switching to the lower quality 720p setting we can see a softer image with less contrast. The benefit of using this mode is that it will give around twice the recording time from the memory card. Even though 720p isn't as clear to watch as 1080p, it would still show who was at fault in an accident. Strangely, when checking the rear camera footage when set to 720p, we noticed that it still recorded in 1080p as before, so perhaps only the front camera quality can be reduced. Here we can see both front camera settings at once for comparison. When we slow the footage down, the left view with 30 frames per second is clearly smoother. Now we have zoomed in to 200% to see which footage has the most detail. We have paused the video to check whether both video settings are clear enough to read the registration of the parked van. Our favourite mode is of course 1080p as it gives much better video quality. It will use more data than using 720p but since memory cards are quite cheap we would upgrade to a larger car and enjoy the better video quality. In case you are not aware, the standard YouTube video compression reduces the picture quality you are watching. The original footage straight from the camera will always look better. Here is a little night footage from the front camera. The rear camera doesn't have the car's headlamps to help, so it's much darker. Next, we switched over to the upgraded PR998 version. The screen unit looks the same, except that the front camera is now separate. This allows us more flexibility with where to mount the camera, and we stuck it behind the centre mirror. Having the separate front camera allows us to avoid the car's plastic moulding getting in the way. When choosing between the two versions, you will have to decide whether you prefer the simplicity of the 996's integrated front camera or the flexibility of the 998's separate camera. 
We love both versions of the Palmido mirror dash cam system. The PR996 will be left installed in our white Nissan Leaf and the PR998 in our blue Leaf. Having twin dash cams integrated into the huge 12 inch rear view screen works very well and prevents cluttering the windscreen with separate cameras and mirrors. If you would like to order one for yourself, then we have placed Amazon links in the video description below. Or stay tuned to see how you could win the spare unit we have here. If you would like to enter our giveaway competition, you need to be living in the UK and subscribe to our channel. All you have to do is answer this question. Which town do we film almost all of our videos? If you think you know the answer, comment below. After 30 days, we will choose one of the correct answers at random and contact you. Good luck. If you found this video interesting, then please visit our channel as there are over 100 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.